Well hello everybody and welcome to the first of a series of videos that will be going over just the basics about Maya. If you're new to Maya for the first time, um, this series of videos may be very helpful for you. If you're translating over from a different 3D package, it may also be very helpful for you. Um, I'm just going over some of the basic things in Maya um, and hopefully, hopefully you can go ahead and it can help you become a master. Okay? So, uh, <clears throat> if you can open up Maya for the first time, 2012 is absolutely free. You can download it from students.autodesk.com and you have to be in college. Um, use your college, your college email and they allow you to download any of their software and it's free for three years. Um, the only catch is that it is actually classified as student software so when you save it or open up a file that was created by it it would actually dictate that this file was created with student software so it's not really a good look if you're trying to start a business but it's great just to test out the software it's completely free and legal so <clears throat> if you open up Maya for the first time this is probably what you're gonna get let me have this little pop-up window here and it has these seven quick videos just talking about how to move around and uh, some of the basic things that I'm also going to go over also. Um, uh, it's very handy because you may you know, not touch Maya for a few months and you may actually forget how to do some simple things. These videos are right here. You can just click on them. It pops up in a new window and uh, you can catch yourself up. So I'm actually going to close this out. Um, you can uncheck this. You can check it. That way it won't show up at startup like I have. So I'm going to close this out and <clears throat> first thing you see is a whole lot of buttons, a whole lot of menus, where do you get started, etc, etc. Maya is capable of doing a lot of things from animation to creating worlds, modeling, to animating characters, setting up their rigs, skeletons, bones, um, even doing dynamic effects like particles and making fire, making water, um, it goes all along the board. And so, at first, it may be quite daunting, you know, trying to figure out what's what, where do you start. Um, on a basic level, we can start with these menus on the top. Maya has so much to offer that it has split itself up into sections. So, these first seven menus, whether you're on Mac or PC, it's the same thing. These first seven menus are your base menu sets. So, these will never change. You know, you got your file, edit, modify, all the way up to assets and also help. Everything in between will change according to your menu set that you're currently in. So usually by default animation menu set is going to be what you're currently under. Um, if you, you can change that click the down arrow and you can see different menu sets. We have polygons, surfaces, you know different things. These are there with different parts of Maya. Um, different functions. So if I choose polygons for example I can see all these menus in here change. So now I have options that there were polygons and so on and so forth. <coughs> Alright so in the next video I'll go over just how to move around um, and how to start making things and what are the different type of things that you can make.